Hey guys, it's Ash, and today I'm gonna share a live three star war attack attempt against an opposing Town Hall 9 player. And the army that I'm gonna be using uh, consists of the Super Queen with five healers, uh, one golem, and Lava Loon, two hounds, ten balloons, a bunch of ar cleanup archers and goblins, wall breakers, and some wizards. And the base I'll be attacking is number 14. As you can see, we've already three-starred uh, their other bottom, so it's up to me to bring home a cleanup on this uh, base, number 14. So my plan is to start from the top, send out my queen with the healers onto this army camp. Now it is kind of unpredictable as to the direction she's gonna take if she if she's gonna go towards the right or towards the left because of these inner structures. But I'm really not worried about that because either direction she goes, she's gonna go after an air defense towards the right here and air defense on the left, and then she can make her way towards the south and then go for the other air defense here, or she can go towards this direction towards the right and go for the other air defense. And then we can also make an entry point uh, either here and send out our golem and the king and the wizards behind to remove that air defense and also jump in here to remove the archer queen. Or if our queen goes towards the left, we can create that entry point here at the bottom left, break open here, uh, go for the air defense, remove the king and the queen. So hopefully things go well. Uh, let's go in. Okay, everything's ready and attack all right now I'm gonna angle my queen onto the camp towards the right because uh, he has a king on the left so if my queen can go towards the right uh, it would be much better so we can avoid the opposing king so we're just gonna angle her here hopefully she goes towards the right if not it doesn't really matter because she's still gonna be able to get the other uh, two air defenses okay so let's see she's going towards the right here but now she's gonna target that mortar Okay, and then the opposing archer tower. Okay, looks good. No, she's going towards the left. She's gonna go for the elixir store, elixir collector. But yeah, it's, it's fine if she does go towards the left. She's gonna remove the wizard tower, but now that elixir storage is closer, so she's now gonna make her way towards the right. Perfect. So then she's gonna remove the air defense right afterwards. Uh, she's gonna distract both of those cannons Okay, two cannons. Uh, that expo is set to air and ground, not a problem. So only two point defenses are targeting her, not a problem. We have five healers, so she's gonna be uh, completely safe against any point defensive threat. Just not enough point defenses on the exterior here. And uh, okay, let's make that entry point. Send out our king uh, golem there. Uh, let's first distract that archer tower. Now we, we can send out our wall breakers, but they're spreading out. <laughs> okay there we go that got me worried a bit because the wall breaker started to go haywire and spread out uh, okay send down my king remove those structures funnel in my wizard send out more wizards here uh, he has a clan castle lava hound not a problem just have to rage my queen and the wizards now as you can see my king or my golem have stolen the uh, the healers, but not a problem. I'm not really worried about that because as you can see the other two air defenses are very far away and uh, Since the golem and, or the king stole the healers. It's just gonna give Additional shields for my queen and wizards. So this is very good actually it doesn't really matter if they stole uh, if that golem stole my uh, healers now as you can see he's uh, ferociously distracting all of those defenses and tanking shielding for my queen uh, 1 minute 24 seconds great time to now send out our balloons 1 2 3 1 2 3 uh, 1 2 3 here 1 2 3 there and let's send, the, send out the other one over here use a raid spell we don't need to use a raid spell on our queen oops <laughs> I activated my queen's ability I meant to tap on the raid spell dang why do I keep making silly mistakes like this on, um, when I'm raiding live but as you can see our queen is still alive we're gonna send out those cleanup archers and goblins and minions on the sides uh, we still have another raid spell let's use that right here help out those balloons quickly take out the tesla and the air sweeper over there we still have a raid spell i mean a hay spell no come on balloon what are you doing no tesla is over there our goblins and uh, lava pups over there are gonna clean that. We still have a hay spell, 26 seconds. 
Just need the, the queen in there, so let's use that haste bell. Come on, go in, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> She's gonna remove the Tesla. 17 seconds, 16, 15. I think we have time. Seven seconds, no, oh my goodness. I can't believe this. This is so close. Uh, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Can't believe this. Just needed like two more seconds to take out that town hall. Yeah, it looks like just isn't my day today. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually very disappointed right now because uh, that's not the first time I failed to three star in this war. I'll actually fail to three star uh, my first attempt as well. As you can see down here, the second attack in war, I got a 91% two star. I'm not going to share that because uh, it was another very disappointing attack uh, that I ran out of time. So yeah, that's one thing I really need to improve upon is when I'm commentating, I really need to pay attention to, to the time and what's going on. So yeah, I just want to apologize to you guys, but I am going to try to improve upon this and hopefully I get better and stop making mistakes like this. So you guys are also going to watch me evolve into a better war player uh, as I commentate live for wars. So instead of sharing that disappointing loss, I'm going to instead share one of my clanmates' uh, three-star attack. Here, Natman, he's going to do a similar attack with the Queen Walk and Lava Loon. So he's going to start off with his queen at the bottom, uh, sends out the healers, and here as you can see, he has a lot of healers. He has five healers, plenty of healers, so all he has to do basically here is remove the opposing queen. With his queen, uh, he can use a rage spell right here, and that's going to easily take out the opposing queen and the air defense. And now that's going to have her travel up top, and uh, here he's going to send out his king at the left to remove those scrap, scrap buildings and also distract uh, that archer tower expo and that's also going to make it easier for his queen to then remove the second air defense and also go after uh, the lava hound and here he can send out his lava loon from the left side now since his queen basically destroyed half the base on the left side and uh, it's just going to make it very easy now for his balloons and lava loon and his lava hound to completely uh, wreck the rest of the space from the left side. So basically he sent out his lava hounds on each of the air defense and coupled uh, it with balloons, three balloons per defense. He brought a lot of balloons for his attack and uh, it was a very successful attack. So well done that man, we really needed that third star. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, learned a lot. I know I'm still learning a lot from my mistakes. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Later.